right guys, this is Martin and today I want to discuss a completely different topic with you because we're basically locked down, right? In Germany we cannot play golf outdoors so the only way to play golf right now is indoor simulation and I'm one of the fastest and longest hitters in the world so I've tested all these devices. Can he hit the perfect side of the grid? We'll see. Is it enough? Bye -bye. I know all the radar technology, I know all the camera technology and anything in between and I know which systems read well and which do not, right? So what I do indoors is I use camera technology and here's the reason why. There are actually three factors for distance in golf and the first one is ball speed, the second one is launch angle, so the angle the ball starts and the third one is spin rate and the third one is so crucial and we want to get good data for this third factor. Because if that varies by let's say 500 RPM the distance could be 35, 40, 50 yards off depending on the conditions, right? And the, depending on how far you hit it. Right here in my golf cave, I do have roughly, what is this, like three yards of ball flight. And this ball flight is not enough for a radar system to track the spin perfectly. That is crucial because when I would practice with estimated spin rates or calculated spin rates for months, I would maybe practice something which is not right. So that's why I trust camera technology. And the only product I use is Foresight products. And there's actually two different ones. There's the Foresight GC Quad and the Foresight GC2. And I have both of them with me. So right here we have the Foresight GC Quad with the four cameras, so the four eyes looking at you. Right here a fairly big machine and with a display up here. And I do also have the Foresight, Foresight GC2 right here. Basically the same technology, but a little bit different. So the Quad is the newest product and the GC2 is one of the best selling products from Foresight. So we do have 168 yards to the pin, no wind, zero altitude, raw data. So let's see if a long driver can actually hit the green. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Come on, get in. <laughs> All right. So let's look at the data. On the right side, we have the club data. And on the left side, we have the ball data. Right here, we have speed, ball speed. We have launch angle, which was 21.2 degrees. We have push pull. So this was 0.3 degrees right. We have the backspin, this is over 10K. We have the side spin. it was a little, little, little draw. So this was 18 RPM left, so that's almost like nothing. We do have 170 carry and we do have 171 total, so a little bounce forward basically. So it was 168, I think 170 is not too bad there. It was 0.4 yards right and it's six feet, six inches to the pin. And on the right side we have the club data, which was 111 mile per hour. It was a pitching wedge, by the way. Efficiency, so basically the ratio between the two of these, one to one. Uh, angle of attack was 12 degrees down, 12.4. And this is the club path, which was 1.7 degrees in to out. In the next video, I want to compare the two of these and basically, give you some advice on which one might be good for you. So stay tuned, see you next time.